All right, let's now run our test for simple sugars. We're going to use Benedict's test using Benedict's reagent for that test, test for the simple reducing sugars. Okay, so first we have to set up our positive and negative control just like we did last time. So our negative control again is just going to be water. So I'm just going to put some DI water in here and a few drops of Benedict's. All right, so nice kind of light blue color. That's our negative control. And then our positive control, we are going to put in some glucose. There we go, 0.1% glucose. 0.1% glucose, okay. So put in some glucose. Doesn't take much. And then again, a few drops. All right, positive and negative control. Okay, so for this test, we have to heat it. We heat the reagent, and then it'll change color if it is positive for a reducing sugar. And the darker the color is, the more of that sugar that there's that is there. So let's put them in there. We'll speed this up and come back once it's heated. All right, let's take a look. So remember this one right here, this was our positive control. So see how it's still blue, just like it was when we started? And this one, this is our positive control. So our positive control, so it turned so this was our negative control right here, the blue one. This one right here is our positive control. Okay, so negative control, we did not expect it to turn color. It did not turn color. Our positive control, the glucose solution did turn color. Okay. So now I've set up some other solutions. Okay, and we're gonna test these for reducing sugar. So number one is seven up. Number two, this one right here, it's gonna be whey three, it's going to be cornmeal solution. Number four is going to be flour, so it's a flour solution. Tube five right here is sucrose. And tube six right here is a starch solution. So let's add our Benedict solution and then see which ones turn color. Let's take a look at these. So here we have tube number five. This is our starch solution. And here we have tube number six. This is our sucrose solution. So starch and sucrose. All right. Tube number three, this was cornmeal. Tube number three was cornmeal. Tube number four, number four we had flour. Doesn't seem like it really changed much. In number two, we had whey. Okay, this is tube number two, we had whey. Nice bright orange color in there. Tube 
And tube number one, we had seven up. Ooh, really dark. Really, really dark for number two, number seven up. Okay, typically the closer to red the color is, the more reducing sugar there is, or the darker it is, the more reducing sugar. All right, here's our results again. From on the right, tube number one, seven up. Tube number two, whey. Tube number three, we have cornmeal. Number four, we have flour. Number five, we got starch. And number six, we have sucrose. And again, comparing them to our positive and our negative control right here.